Welcome to another Gibbs Cam version 14 video. I've had a number of people ask me what's new in version 14 as far as CAD capabilities go and I'm here to show you some of those as well as some of the things that have been here uh, in Gibbs for a little while. So the first thing I'm going to show you is you can see I have my stock here and I have three tools here and I want to do some freehand machining. Sometimes I want to machine something in the tool path I like to use and not necessarily how the cam system wants to use. For instance, face mill. You can see I have a face mill here, three inch. I'm just gonna click on the geometry palette, click on line, mouse line. You can see there's nothing following my cursor. But if I click on the tool, you'll see now I have kind of a ghost tool following my, my uh, cursor. So I'm just gonna do a simple little tool path that I wanna do. You can see the uh, kind of the ghost image following it. Okay, we'll go over here, overlap a little bit, try to go over here. It looks like I got everything. Press escape to get out of there and you can see what your tool path is going to look like. Okay, well let's take that tool along with the process, just a contour process. Let's go down about 30 thou there and you'll click on the geometry. It'll automatically snap to the beginning and end. Don't forget to select the center of that because that's how you freehand uh, drew it. Click on do it and if we do a cut part render slow it down a little bit you can see it's cutting how I wanted it to cut so some pretty neat tools there let's do uh, a couple others here let's turn off cam this time we're going to choose this tool here and I'm going to do line mouse line you can see now there's two circles on there. Of course the outer one is the outer diameter of the end mill and the inner one is the flat after the eighth inch radius because this is a bull nose end mill. Right there you can see it's an eighth inch radius on the corner. So I'm just going to do another freehand machining. Of course you could separate these into different work groups if you like. And I'm going to do one more. This is with just a flat bottom end mill. And we're just going to put one about here, right across, and escape out of here. So let's run the tool path on those two. So we're going to change up to this tool. This time I'm going to go down about a half inch. This one I'm going to choose, of course, here, and choose the center. Now I'm going to change tools. Same depth. This time I'm going to choose this one here and do it. Let's do cut part render. Looks like we slowed it down a little bit. We'll start from the beginning. So there's my face mill and there's my bull nose end mill and my straight one. So freehand machining is really easy to do and uh, you can be as creative as, creative as you like. Okay, let's get rid of all this stuff. And we'll show you some other new features here. Let's pick line, mouse line. And if you don't want this tool to show up, just click an empty space and it'll go away. So let's say I want to create a box similar to what you would do in sketching in SolidWorks. So I'm going to purposely make these angles a little bit odd there. That's okay. And this has been in there for quite a while, but I don't see a lot of people using it. And it's really useful for modifying uh, shapes and radiuses and just about anything. So open this up. It's called Geometry Expert. It's kind of like a spreadsheet. So to fill it out you just double click your shape and it fills in all the features of that shape. So let's click on this one first and you can see it's 356. I want to make that 360. So just type in the value, press enter and you can see that fixes that. How about this one? 266. That probably needs to be 270. This one down here, 180. And this one over here is 95. Let's make it 90. You can see it's all nice and square. Now you say, well, how do I adjust it now? Well, click on what you want to adjust. Say this line here. I'm going to go over here to the Y and change it to one and a half. Type drawing, one and a half. Let's change that. Let's do this one here. That's going to be an X. So let's make it minus one. Click on here, 
We'll make that uh, minus one and a quarter. Maybe this one here, minus one and a half. So, whoops, that's the x value, sorry. Minus three and a half, okay? So now we have our square. So you can do this with uh, radius as well. So let's say I've had radiuses on here. So I put a radius of do quarter inch there. Then if I want, I can op ge open Geometry Expert again, double click, fills it out. Let's say, let's look at this radius here. It's quarter inch, let's make it half inch. Maybe this one down here needs to be three quarter. So you can change this any way you want. It's pretty easy to do and very useful. Okay, now let's show you some, uh, some new things as well. Let's click on shapes and box or rectangle. Now this has been in here for a while on, uh, of course, just a draw a box and you can decide which uh, corner, which grid you want to use when you're dimensioning the part. But what a lot of people don't know is you have this mouse rectangle. So if you click on that, you can see my mouse comes out and you can see a hidden, hidden ghost line around the box. And you can see my grid is in the middle. If I change this to the left, top left, you can see it dimensions from here or bottom right or anywhere you'd like. And as you see, as you move your cursor around, these change as well. So I'm just going to choose the center there. So I'm going to say I want a box about there. And you can see stretches either way. Let's just kind of do a little bit of overlap there. And of course, you can draw as many boxes as you want using the mouse. And you can adjust that the same way uh, before. Now, some people have a hard time drawing uh, a box around their stock size, depending on where their origin is. But it's pretty easy, pretty easy to do now. You can just uh, look at your grid, so your 0, 0 on your origin. And just come out, draw your box, and there's the box around there. I had a radius in here, so that's why you see your radius there. Okay, pretty cool. So let's do... Uh, polygon now. Let's do a triangle first. Okay, let's click mouse there and we'll draw a triangle right there. Pretty easy to do. If I don't want to fill it radius, I could draw another triangle just like that. Let's make a hexagon again. You can line these up. You can always rotate them to a specific degree if you don't want to use the grid. And there you go. So those are some new things. Mouse uh, box, mouse polygon, and uh, mouse offset, which we haven't so shown you yet. Let's just offset one of these here. So I'm just going to click this and do mouse offset. And you can see it's snapping to the grid that I have set at 100 thou, but you can change that any way you want, inside or outside. So pretty nice. Um, Okay, some new ones on here, some trimming features. Now, depending on how it trims will depend on which uh, shape you selected first. So let's just pick this shape first, and we'll hold Control, this shape next, and we'll do Plus. You can see it's going to remove everything on the inside of there, and you can see everything is all trimmed up, ready to go for machining. We'll undo that. Okay, let's do Minus. You can see it took the outer one out and connected it back up to there. Okay, this next one here says intersection. Do that and you can see it uh, wherever it intersected, it kept everything on the inside there. Okay, some more. This one is trim in. So you can see what it did is it trimmed it inside there. If I was to get rid of that, you see it trimmed the shape inside here. Let's just undo that. This one is trim outside. You can see it trimmed it outside. So if I deleted this, trim to the outside. Okay, and the last one is slice. So what that did is it sliced it right there, as you can see those little points right there. Let's get rid of that. You can either keep this one or keep this one, depends on which one you want. You can do either one and you can see it trimmed it there. So some really nice uh, CAD features, uh, improvements in the CAD design make things a lot faster, a lot easier.
Sorry, let me jump back in. I, I forgot to show you a couple other things. Let's click on circle and mouse circle. So there's a mouse circle now. So you can do mouse circle as much as you'd like. Some pretty cool features there. Okay. All right. Then one that's really been wanted, wanted for a long time is the engraving. So engraving, uh, a lot of times you'd put in the uh, where you want it on the grid and dimensions and hopefully it falls into the right place. And of course, anytime you're doing um, uh, engraving, you always want to put it on a separate work group. So in case you need to delete something, it's a lot easier to do. So bring up engraving again. And notice there's mouse engraving right now. So you click on that and you can see now you can drag it anywhere you'd like place it where you would like and you can of course make it bigger or smaller to fit so some pretty nice features there on the engraving as well text creation so now that's the end thanks for watching